They still call them playbooks and they still call it film study, but the reality is all that stuff takes place right here on an iPad. Now the folks from Sports Tech, the software manufacturer, and Basketball Canada have invited Sportonomics to the Madame Athletic Center at Ryerson University to see how video footage, advanced analytics, and iPad technology combine to create better basketball players. We're here with Simon Reynolds, Canadian sales manager for Sports Tech, and he's gonna tell us how the iPad has revolutionized what athletes used to call film study. Simon, welcome to Sportonomics. Thank you. So we know that 28 out of 30 NBA teams are using sports tech in conjunction with the iPads, but how does that work in real time in the game? How, how would we see this working? So they're ingesting live video into their Macs in some location in an arena. As the game's going on, they're, they're doing what we call coding. So they're coding every single event that occurs. Because at halftime, coach is gonna come in, he's gonna say, you know what, I wanna see every time Paul Pierce touched the ball at the top of the key. It's bringing the iPads in sort of is that extension of that, right? The iPads have changed everything. We take the iPads with us, we give them to the players, and the data that starts on the OS, on the computers, is now in the hands of the athletes. The athletes and the coaches have them after practice, before practice, they're on the bus and they have access to it when they go home, and we can at a distance on a cloud, put some, some information and or email it. You know, the opportunities are endless in terms of where we can use it. Talk about whether or not there are ways for teams to, to, to measure using this software, things like momentum, a player's temper tantrum, right. or a flop, things like this. It's not just taking a look at the sort of statistical information and that hard data. So I like to sort of challenge coaches. And let's figure out what makes a difference, right? We're looking for that little tiny edge. You know, that post player sits in the block, they go in the block and they're down there six plays in a row, and the guard doesn't get on the ball. What does that do? What does that do to their mental state? just from an ego standpoint, just from an emotional state, they're gonna be more in the game. And It doesn't matter what they do with the ball. Just getting the big a touch down low, once every five possessions, is gonna make them more effective. So we're gonna code now for, um, for ego insult. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but what about how, how, how useful it is and how affordable it is for people at different levels of sure. the sport? You know, teams in Canada, we don't always have six or seven guys in suits sitting on the bench crunching numbers, right? So we have teams using a tool called uh, Sports Tech Game Breaker, and you can do it on your iPad. So you can film with your iPad, code the game, and away you go. It's fantastic. You know, probably about a hundredth the cost of, a, of what the NBA is using. It's definitely accessible, and we've got youth teams all over the country using Sports Code Game Breaker. Performance analysis and teamwork I hit Simon Reynolds for the open jump shot, he knocked it down. For Sportonomics, he's Simon, I'm Morgan Campbell.